Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Our guest is Dr. Barbara Seneca. She's an Associate Professor of Cognitive Sciences at UCI. And she joins us to talk about the importance of early childhood education, and in particular, pre-kindergarten math. Nice to have you with us, Doctor. Hi. How important is it that we get to kids early and we start working with them, not by the time they've gone to kindergarten, but actually maybe when they're young, when they're babies and they're still at home with us? It's extremely important. It's massively important. In fact, the, the really well done, randomized, controlled longitudinal studies that okay. assign kids either to a treatment group or to a non-treatment group find that kids who are enrolled in really high quality early childhood development programs, so from anywhere from birth to age five, uh, do great. They do better all through high school and for the rest of their lives. Does it make that much of a difference, like you just get a little bit of a leg up, or you really see a big dramatic impact? We see, uh, it depend we see a big impact, That's and insane. if it's a really high quality intensive program, we see a huge impact. So Can parents supplement this? If you have a parent who stays at home who's really involved with their kid, is that supplemental, and is it really the fact that, you know, a lot of families now can't afford to have one person staying at home. Both families are working. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I don't think it's the importance of being in a, a preschool setting okay. or an early child care institutional kind of setting. Okay. I think it's the input that children get that's really important. So whether you're at home or whether you're in preschool, the important thing is reading to kids. In, the, in terms of math, practicing counting mm -hmm. and practicing uh, the cardinal concepts with kids and playing board games, uh, games that have dice, games that have numbers in them. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff is really, really important for the formation of early number concepts in two, three, four-year-old kids. So, and as little, you're saying even when they're infants, when we start reading to them and talking, I've heard that music too is actually because it's yeah. numerically based. Well, music is great. Music is great in all kinds of ways for kids. But the important thing is that kids get a lot of rich input, a lot of people talking to them and uh, intensively interacting with them and sort of reading to them and playing games with them early on. And they can either get it at home or they can get it in preschool, but it's important that they, that get, they it. get it. Ed, somebody goes throughout their life, I mean, one of the things that I've heard is that the average um, educational age or attainment for someone in prison is about fifth grade. So as you go through your life, if you get behind, if you don't start out early and you get behind, what kind of statistical numbers do you have that can tell us that it makes a difference in how productive somebody is with their life and whether or not they may end up in prison? Well, the, you know, the, one of the best controlled studies of this was the Perry Preschool Program in Ypsilanti, Michigan, mm -hmm. and they followed the kids. The kids are about my age. They're about late 30s, uh, 40 years old now. Mm -hmm. And uh, they found that the kids who were assigned to the high quality preschool program that they were running were uh, not only more likely to finish high school, more likely to finish college, less likely to be arrested, less likely to serve time in jail. They made more money through their whole lives as adults. It's sequential then, doesn't it? Just as like Absolutely. a domino effect. And because they used fewer special education services, uh -huh. they repeated grades less, they were more likely to have health insurance, they were less likely to use welfare. So it, you know, it ended up paying back something like eight or nine dollars back in savings to society for every dollar that was invested in the program. So, What about math? You know, I, I find a lot of people don't like math and yet it's so rudimentary and basic whether you're balancing your checkbook or you're making change or obviously there's much more complicated math but I mean your basics in life, maybe if you like to cook you have to know how to do measurements. I'm figuring out sometimes if I have to cut a recipe in half that understanding how to do simple arithmetic, you know, multiplication and addition and subtraction, I use it every single day more than I realize. <laughs> Sure, and not only that, but pre-kindergarten math skills, the skills, the, the number concepts that kids develop when they're two, three, four years old, turn out to be the, the single best predictor of their future academic achievement all the way through high school. So the bottom line is start early, whether it's at a formal or if it's at home, and the importance of math. Math can be fun. It can be great. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for your time, Doctor. Thanks. For Charter Local Edition, I'm Tracy Young. Hi everybody, my name is Peter Dills. If you like to dine out, join me on Charter's Channel 101 at 12 noon, 9 p.m., and again at 3 a.m. This weekend, Saturday and Sunday. For my television show, Dining with Dills, we check out restaurants throughout Southern California. So if you like to wine and dine, join me this Saturday and Sunday at 12 noon, 9 p.m., and 3 a.m. for Dining with Dills. You'll be glad you did.